everybody, and welcome back to the Wat Pepper Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I'm joined with my lovely co-host, Jolene, on this beautiful, uh, what day is it? Mm -hmm. Thursday? Thursday. It's Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> yeah, I know what day it is. <laughs> it's a little bit of an off day, because we normally don't record on Thursdays, so... <laughs> Ooh, yeah. little snazzy, oh. little new. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm very excited, because... Jolene was a psychic and guessed that the wheel was gonna land on my choice and so because I have like a like I want to say like a healthy minor obsession with this uh with this Hasman Hotel character I don't, I don't know if you guys know who he is uh, like Vox or something like that something along those lines uh I found a Vox X reader for me to read with Jolene and it's going to be the best mm -hmm. thing that we've ever done in, in my life I'm, I'm very scared I'm very scared me too because every single Vox X reader I found were listed ongoing and mature so uh I don't know how much maturity is going to be in this I don't know if there's gonna be a warning oh before this video. I don't know. Also, OJ Simpson is dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, this was made by um, SK Wright 89, and it, it is just titled Vox X Reader. And, and, it's, mm -hmm. and it has a beautiful picture of the promotional art that, that is just him. Everyone else is cropped out. <laughs> Yeah, but, fuck everyone else. Yeah, fuck, fuck Val. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Alright, the, the description reads, You are a powerful overlord in hell. After a hard day at work, you decide to head to a bar where you meet a good-looking man. Fox, the member of- <laughs> Yeah. The, the fucking writer knows, man. <laughs> they know. <laughs> what the Vox, a member of the V's. And during that night, you drunkenly sell your company to him, making you colleagues. Damn, how drunk do you have to be to sell your entire company? <laughs> I'm gonna be hella drunk. Yeah. Alright, there's an author's note that has a couple things that we need to fill in. So we need a first and last name, our company name, and the middle name. Mm-hmm. That's all Also, can can we just talk about the uh the uh the chapter titles? I a drunken so mistake in the morning after just sound like <laughs> something went down, you know? Like like well, yeah, we sold you know. our company. That's what went down. <laughs> I mean, you know what? what yeah, happened, we just Jolie? sold our company. <laughs> Jolie, what else would have happened, huh? What ideas? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we, you know, premarital handholding. Oh my god, not premarital <laughs> handholding. Also, can I bring up a thing that happened with uh, with me and Elf real quick? It was it was fucking Absolutely. funny. Absolutely. I don't mean to put him on blast, but we were we were writing the the oh. Vox X Phoenix fan fiction, right? And you know, he was like, oh, I, got, I gotta leave soon. I can't work in this anymore. I gotta go, go swimming lessons. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. don't worry, man. I'll be hard at work over here. He's like, I was like, oh, wait. And I'm like, what? I was like, what? He's like, you're hard at work? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's uh, the phrase. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, what? Stop oh, that. that's what he said. I was like, Elf, what the fuck are you talking about? And then I like read through the lines again. I'm like, oh, oh, you, sc that's how scandalous of you. He's like, I gotta go. <laughs> Sorry, Elf, I didn't mean to put you on blast. It was just really funny <laughs> the way that you and you interpreted that my sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, what's gonna be our first and last name for this? Oh God, uh, the Cinerosi. Uh, our first and last name are gonna be Phoenix, uh, Flair. Oh, okay, let's do that, let's go. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be... Oh, we can't, oh, okay, okay. We'll be okay, Flair okay. Phoenix. Oh my god, yes. No. No, no, no. <laughs> god damn it, stop tripping me up like this. Um, hmm. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what a... God. I would name. We always. We should start. We should really have like a wheel for name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do something basic like Melissa. Melissa Novak. I'm looking at pool names. What, well, okay, what's a good. What's a basic ass middle name for women? Oh, I got it. Elizabeth. Marie. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never met someone with a uh, middle name of uh, Elizabeth, what do you but mean? the two main ones that I. What do you mean you never met? Like, I literally uh, have... <laughs> My literal last name is Elizabeth. 
How can you say that to me? I don't- I don't know if I can- I can do we this. We should be- <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> she doesn't even know my middle name. <laughs> I don't. When have I ever used that? I guess, I, don't, I guess I don't even know your middle name, so I, I guess it's fine. Exactly! <laughs> How fucking dare you not know my middle name? Dude, but mine's a basic white bitch name. And you'll never know mine. <laughs> Alright, what, what do we come up with for this? Uh, let's do it come up with mine. What, what kind of company is it, first of all? Oh, shoot. I guess- I'd say, like, I guess a tech company. Ooh, or it could be, like, a- Can we do the name Your Mom Incorporated, please? <laughs> no! <laughs> wait, wait, you wanna- do you wanna be- how, like, do we wanna be serious or do we be funny? I thought- okay, how about we have the name be serious, the company name be a little funny? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> your Mom <laughs> <laughs> Your Mom- how do you spell incorporated? <laughs> Oh, no. I just so just go I and C. Alright, your mom Inc. Alright, what's our first name? Okay. Oh wait, 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 okay. Pick a number pick seven. a number. Is seven a good answer? Uh, G our letter is G, so it's gonna start with a G. A G? Greg. G. <laughs> We, we are Greg? Yeah, uh, you know what Gregory. the first thing that came into my head? What? Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn? Oh no. Oh no, how do you we say, could, spell it? How about we just do Gwen? We could do just do- yeah, just Gwen. Gwen? What's, what would be Glenn's last name? D did you say Glenn? Sorry, my words are bad. <laughs> oh, it's just like, oh my god, wrong. two different names. Yeah. Gwen, that's what I meant. I don't know why I put an L in there. <laughs> Uh, last name... Fisher. <laughs> That's- that works. Yeah. Middle name... Your ma. <laughs> Middle uh, name... Trying to think of one... Olivia? Lee. Oh, Lee. That's a good one. Gwen Lee Fisher. God, this sounds like a real person. It I promise this like... isn't a real person. <laughs> our, our I don't know Sarah anyone. Lee. <laughs> like the bread. <laughs> Alright, updates will come randomly, but let's see. This chapter can be- What? <laughs> Mild sexual whoa, content whoa, and use of alcohol. Mild- to... I knew it! I knew it! I knew we need to be alcohol. already. I'm scared. There's alcohol- okay. I don't think I can read this. There's okay. alcohol involved. Okay, point. How about- if- if you want. If this says sexual- if this, this says sexual content, I can- I can volunteer to go It's okay. Hurt. No, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, I can do it. Okay. Alright, we'll flip it going. Heads or tails? Uh, the uh, tails. <clears throat> Heads. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go. I get to read this <laughs> Oh my <first>. god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What is this? Oh yeah, it's called a drunken mistake. Alright. Alright. Gwen's POV. I really thought we were just gonna be chilling at a bar drunk and Vox was like, Hey, you know what you should do? You should like summon your company. And we're like, mm, That sounds really good. <laughs> okay, clock out, guys. Come back tomorrow morning, bright and early. We have to finish this project, I say, as the sun sets low in the distance. My fingers are all cramped from riding and my brow sweating for the heat. When they called this place the fiery pits of hell, they weren't lying. I'm a powerful old world lord in hell. I own millions of souls that work for my construction company, Your Mom Incorporated, every day and night. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's funny because like, if oh, I didn't. If, since we're a construction company, we can say that we're making your mom's. Like, we're making your mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> as, as much as much as having as much power as I do has its perks, I'm also extremely exhausted. I sit down on the sidewalk in front of the partway finished nightclub of, before of me. God, I need a break. Gwen? Ma'am, are you alright? My small assistant, Ember, says, running to my side with a clipboard in hand. Ember has always been by my side since the day I started this company. I... S Worked my way to the top of them with, wait, with them, w yeah, with them with me the whole way. I owe them everything. I'm alright, Amber. Just need a drink after a long day. I say, my voice slow and tired. After, after tiring days like these, 
You can find me at the bar, pounding back shot after shot. Not a great strategy for re relaxation, but fuck it, we're in hell for fuck's sake. I'll call you a car right away, Gwen. The usual place? I know, I'm fantasizing about sleep and relaxation. I wait for a bit until the car comes and I, I'm taken to the bar. I love this bar because it's almost like my little secret place. No one ever comes here. It's small and on the outskirts of town. Perfectly quiet for when I arrive. I sit at the bar stool and sigh. I can already feel myself relaxing at my favorite place before the bartender starts to speak. The usual, the bartender asks while cleaning a glass. Why are they always cleaning a glass? Do you got anything else to do other than clean the glass? Just asking a question. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's like the first shot when you when like Hasmo Hotel starts in the first episode when you see ha like Husk. He's fucking cleaning a fucking glass. That's all bartenders do. They gotta make sure they're they're shiny. I guess. The, don't they got other shit to do? Like I don't know, to clean a different glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you know they're not cleaning a different glass? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the usual the bartender asks while cleaning a glass. You know it. I responded. A shot was slid towards me, then another, then another, until the bar doors fly open. Oh, what's happening here? <laughs> My head swings back to see who walked in. It was Vox, another powerful overlord and member of the bees. Shit, I mumbled under my breath. The last thing I want is another overlord here to interrupt my peace and quiet. He angrily stormed over to bar domain, the strongest strength they have. Fuck, I think to myself. A tough day? Just like me, he's pounding back drink after drink, and I can't help but stare at his glowing screen, tailored suit, and his long legs. <laughs> he's only seven foot tall, man. How, how long are those legs? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, long legs. Yeah, he's built like a spider, I guess. <laughs> Something about him drew me in. It almost guided me towards him, so I followed that feeling. I suited over, stool after school to get closer to him. What do you want? He mumbles, almost just as drunk as I am. Nothing, I re responded. I was just getting sick of the seat I was in. So smooth, Gwen. I smacked my face out of embarrassment. What a great first impression. There's a powerful overlord, more powerful than me, and I respond with... What do you... I respond to, what do you want with? I was getting sick of my seat. How fucking stupid. <laughs> you see, this is a Phoenix move right here. I decided to just let it go and continue the conversation. How's Voctex? I asked, slurring my words a little bit. It's fine. How about your company? He says, not even trying to make eye contact. How impolite. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, you know what? Actually, fuck this guy. So when does that happen later in the show? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a company, I guess. I chuckle drunkly. He laughs a bit, but quickly catches himself. Another, another fucking stupid response. God, Gwen again at that. Wait, why am I trying so hard to repress him? Again, I let it go and carry on. He clenches his fists and tighten, and tightening his shoulders. He seems incredibly stressed. I'm dying to find out why. What's on your mind? I put my hand on his shoulder tenderly, but he quickly flinches it away. Why do you care? He snaps at me, still keeping that no eye contact rule. Okay, don't tell me then. I coldly reply. He sighs deeply before beginning to speak again. Alistair. <laughs> oh, his boyfriend is not texting him back. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're right here if you need a rebound. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shut up. The radio demon. We we used to work together for a bit, but I just helped him out while trying to build an A for myself. He's significantly more powerful than me. He supposedly broadcasts the screens of damn souls on his radio show. He wouldn't ever tell me the details, so I'm not sure if it's true. How creepy. I can understand why you stressed out about him, but why? I order us another round of drinks, asking the bartender to put it on my tab. He just uh, drives me crazy. I knew they were, like, enemies, I guess, but he seems to be really affecting Vox. Who knew? <laughs> hey, it's okay. Placing a comforting hand on his shoulder. This time, he doesn't flinch away. Ooh, like... Like, what's gonna happen? Okay. <laughs> we laugh and have another round of drinks. We were drunk shitless. I just need more power. You know, nowhere to finally beat him, he says. I think for a moment. Not 
Clearly, but enough to put an idea together. <laughs> what if we merge companies? I suggest. That's... He stops. A great idea. <laughs> Don't do business deals while you're drunk, man. <laughs> we discuss a, a sale drunk out of our minds. I'm not sure... Oh, I'm... I'm for sure going to regret this in the morning. He reaches his hand out. Do we have a deal? He says confidently, yet totally shit-faced. <laughs> deal. I reply, shaking his hand. We laugh, and then silence washes over us. I stare at him breathlessly. I can't tell if he's really fucking attractive or if this is the alcohol talking. But after another sip of um, my liquid courage, I grab his face and get- Whoa, this is getting a little seamy. <laughs> <laughs> I grab his <laughs> Do I need a... Wait, sh... Are you good? Am I... Are you good? <laughs> Hold on, I might need to <laughs> move the mic a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. I was, I, like, I was reading what? a bit ahead. I, and, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this might actually uh, be straight up smut. Okay. Okay, I'm an actor. Oh, reading ahead, Phoenix? I know, well, I, I skimmed because I was like, is this going where I think it's going? I'm like, oh, yes it is. Okay. <laughs> he shocked for a second, but kissing me back passionately. He grabs my waist, scooting me and my bar stool closer. I melt at his touch. His tongue slowly slides into my mouth. I melt softly. <clears throat> I would- <laughs> Shut the- <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I, I, I wish this kiss would last forever. His lips are warm, perfectly human, like, although he is the TV. Hey, I just get to mark out, make out with a flat screen TV off my bingo card. <laughs> Not the bingo card! Oh my god, this is for you. Shut the fuck <laughs> He pulls our limbs apart and I pant breathlessly. Holy fuck, that was really Where's the bartender? <laughs> He's still sitting there? <laughs> Let's get out of here. He stumbles off the stool and guides me out the door. And then to a car. And then f and then through his this front door. And then to his bedroom and onto his bed. Holy fuck. Am I about to hook up with vomit? <laughs> what, what are these two comments say? Let's go and a- <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He pushes me down on this soft, cozy bed and grabs my face, kissing me more passionately than the last. I moan and arch my back while grinding my, my body against his. He does the same. He kisses my neck, leaving a trail of purple spots around my chest. He unbuttons my top, it's slowly and tenderly exposing my my sweaty chest. Fuck, he moans and takes in the sand. <laughs> 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 I'm, so, I'm so good until I heard you laugh. <laughs> I was like, I can- No, I don't blame you. I was like, sorry, like, Chuck, what am I- Can we get it together, Phoenix? Get it together? Okay, I'm sorry. He, he, he moans as he takes in the sight of my exposed body. You're gorgeous, he says, kissing my chest and all the way down to my belly. I squirm as he tries to undo my pants this time, craving more of his enchanting lips. I pull him by the collar back to my mouth. Yeah, yet, I whisper, kiss, kissing him once again. Wait. This is wrong. I'm lying. I'm in Vox's bed making out with him. Tomorrow he'll be my boss. But it's so good. No, I have to stop this. <laughs> my mind travels back and forth between finally deciding to put an end to this pleasure. I push him off of me, panting and sweating. What the fuck just happened, I said through laughter. He sighs. Fuck, he says groggily. He kisses me again and kisses my neck. I'm frozen. I don't- Oh wait, wait, I need to scroll up. <laughs> I'm frozen. I know this is wrong, but I can't help but, but love everything- Every second of it. Oh, every- Every sec- Okay, every second of it, that's what- <laughs> Fox, we're too drunk, I said, in between kisses. He clings onto- Onto me, not wanting to stop. It's like our lips were Velcro. <laughs> I'll say that next time to camera, and I'll see what it says. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I push him away one more time, and this time, he gets the memo, cuddling up to my chest, we s begin to drift to sleep. God, that was incredible. Alright, oh, and oh, is the fan on? <laughs> 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 Alright, this here you go, the morning after. This chapter mentions sexual activity and alcohol, viewer discretion is advised. I cannot believe there is alcohol mentions in here. 
This is this alcohol. Is, like, unchristian like. <clears throat> what the fuck? Same. I still too weak. My hand rests upon rested upon a smooth chest. My head pounds and I sit up holding it with both hands until I feel a cool breeze on my chest. What the hell? I'm topless. I'm fucking topless in someone's someone else's bed. I quickly pull his comforter over my exposed top half, and I can still feel my scratchy skirt against my legs. Whew, at least I'm not fully naked. I look out to see Vox, who is squirming out of the bed. Holy shit, I'm topless in Vox's bed. What the fuck happened? My mind scatters, but my but my mind clicks out to one thought. Did we? I said, gripping the blanket close to my chest, not wanting to expose myself. What the fuck are you here? He shouts, jumping out of bed. His suit wrinkled and his tie nowhere to be found. His shirt halfway unbuttoned. He's just as confused and visibly hungover just like I am. And let me tell you, hungover Vox is not a pretty sight. Pretty sight. I think back to last night. Little bits and pieces come to mind, but one thing in particular seems to echo in my head. He called me gorgeous. Vox called me gorgeous. I could like feel you at this phrase, like cutting the hair behind your <laughs> ear. What the fuck? I was totally not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I look over to the nightstand stupidly, looking to find some kind of answer, maybe a condom wrapper, or my shirt. Oh shoot! I don't know why they, they put an exclamation point, but anyway. But instead, I notice a small. Semi crumpled paper sitting there. I pick it up. My heart sinks. Reading the paper, I see my sloppy signature. I sold my company to Vox. Vox is my boss. Did I just sleep with my boss? Thoughts spiral around in my brain, and I hold the paper up to him with the hand that isn't holding the blanket. What the fuck happened last night? Vox gave me a new shirt to wear for a bit and brought me to the computer room. He has access to all the cameras in the city, so he decided to take a look to figure out what happened. I remember being at the bar, so I decided to have a look at the bar footage. And where I am, signing my company away and making out with my new boss. Fuck. I mumble. I looked a total mess. I was all over him, gripping the collar of his shirt and pulling to my lips. I was incredibly drunk. I look over to Vox, who's just as shocked as I am. <laughs> Guilt washes over me. How could I do this? In public? I- he cuts me off. Wait. He stretches me, following our drunk bodies out of the barn into his driver's car. And we watch the cars roll through the city. <laughs> I was past the nightclub I was building. Past your mom had a quarter. Yeah! <laughs> That's so fucking funny. And finally, into the V headquarters. Where I'm currently stand- where I currently stand. Absolutely speechless. We follow our drunken selves on camera to Vox's bedroom, where we soon learn we almost left- Why are there cameras in his bedroom? Why wouldn't there be cameras in his bedroom? <laughs> I mean, there's fucking cameras feels... everywhere. Yeah, but what if someone else could look at these cameras? I don't- I don't want to know what he does in his bedroom. <laughs> what if- like, I don't know, like, what if I, like, I need to- <laughs> Sorry. I need to go back to Horatio. Oh my god. Where's the warden? Yeah, elf. Elf, I need you to put my ass back in Horatio. <laughs> I let go of the breath I didn't realize I was holding. I touched my lips. The same lips boxes were on. The same lips in the footage. The same lips I moved to agree to the sale of my company. We're silent. Go home, fuck this, breaking the unbearable silence. He points to the door, cold and stern. I put my hand on his shoulder, almost tearing up, thinking about what to say next. Should I apologize? Should I tell him to break the deal? But instead, I'm only able to choke out two words before I'm stopped. Vox, I go home. We don't speak of this. We'll come to work like normal tomorrow, like nothing happened. He yells this time, really jerking a single, a single tear down my cheek. I touch the, the tiny salty tear, looking at the drop on my finger, realizing I have begun to cry and I start to sob. I'm not sure why this was my reaction. It was one night. I'm tougher than this. And something about him felt different. Fuck you! I grab my purse and storm out of his house angrily. We were drunk. None of that was real. It may have felt real in the moment, but he's my boss now. 
I remind myself that that a few more times on the walk home. Fuck my life. I sit down on my bed and begin to sob once again, but this time I know why I'm crying. I drunkenly stole away everything I've worked for. All of it. Gone. Amber will be so upset. This is all my fault. Damn. <laughs> did, you, did you just go damn? Yeah, I did say damn, like, oh my god. I wake up to the sound of knocking on my bedroom door. <laughs> Gwen? Gwen, are you awake? Ember's muffled voice says there's a says knocking repeatedly, almost like an alarm clock. I carefully turn my throbbing head towards my window. Ember's still knocking and calling my name. It was now dark outside. Shit. Did I sleep the whole day away? I get up, still somewhat hungover, and open the door to the confused face of my assistant. What's up? I say, rubbing my eyes. You've got a package from Box Tech. I'm awake as soon as I hear his name. What could he be sending me? Who cares, I try to convince myself. But part of me desperately wants to rip it open. Thank you, Amber, I say, keeping my composure, while grabbing the box and setting it on my bed. Ember follows, puzzled. Where'd you get that shirt? Hmm? I look down at my shirt. Shit, I'm still wearing a shirt. Um, Vox? I admit shyly. What? Vox is point of view. Oh, shit, he wants- Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to run after her. I wanted to grab her arm and stop her, but instead, I stood there like a coward. I replayed the night in my mind, over and over, while picking up the mess in my bedroom. And underneath a small, uh, underneath a pillow was her shirt. It was soft, comfortable, a little bit see-through. I remember being able to see the outline of her black bra. Damn, it was so professional was looking. <laughs> sorry. Huh? Sorry. 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 <laughs> no, what'd you say? <laughs> Never mind. No, 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 I'll no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Would you just? Oh, you were you were spinning the corner. I'll go, I'll go sit in the corner. I'm <laughs> no, 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 no. Share with the class. Share with the class. The class being me. <laughs> the class being you and everyone watching. Uh, I was like, damn, I didn't know I was like that. Like, where that kind of thing? I didn't know that. But <laughs> <laughs> just lingerie. Yeah. <laughs> she was so professional looking, but so kind and soft underneath. Sure, it had a lingering smell of alcohol, but if you keep it close. You can smell her perfume a bit. I sigh and hang up the shirt in my closet next to my fancy suits and shit, tucked away in the back. I won't have to see it too often. Why is he keeping it in his closet? Doesn't he have memories? The trash? <gasps> <gasps> Mem memories? <laughs> oh yeah. The trash. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know. Mr. Fox, I have the uniform you requested for. Your mom. <laughs> your mom. I was like, I was like, what was the, what was the company? <laughs> what is the end? <laughs> My assistant hands me a box with skirts and shirts and vest with box tech logos and your mom logo. <laughs> I looked at the size of her shirt in my closet and match up a shirt, vest, and skirt of the same size and place it in another box. Is there really the note? Yeah, that would be the professional thing to do. I sit down at my desk and pull out a pen and a tiny card. Dear Gwen, I'm so sorry. No, not good enough. D dear Gwen. Ugh, I suck at this. Uniform, whatever. I'm shoving the card into the box, sealing it up and bringing it with me to the lobby. Walking to the escalator, I pass the spot where, where Gwen last stood before storming out. I'm gonna fucking cry. I'm a terrible person. You are in hell, but <laughs> I feel my screen glitch trying to remain calm but failing. I'm oh, sorry. I mean, he is in hell. Why is he feeling bad? What's <laughs> guilt in hell? But, um, anyway. I drop the box into the ground, stopping it like a little toy. I mean, stomping like a little boy. Shit! I yell out of pure anger at myself for being such a dick and scaring her away like everyone else. At the bartender for serving us so much alcohol despite us being blackout drunk. At anyone who will listen. No! Oh shit. It's so, you know. Back! Back, I said! <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't even, I don't even remember what Valentino sounds like. He, I mean, he's Spanish speaking. Okay, how I'm does sorry. that help me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's wrong, Boxy? 
Valentino's voice purred in my ear, sneaking up behind me. I jump a bit. Fuck you, want? <laughs> I grumble, picking up the box and carefully dusting it off. Who was that girl in your room last night? He asked, and I feel my body tense. How did he know? What did I say about the cameras? <laughs> what are you talking about? I put on a condescending smile and walk into the elevator, Valentino following. Oh, please, don't bullshit me. I guess I'm all sex miles away, he laughs. We didn't have sex. I say through a clenched smile. Whatever you say, Boxy, he says. The elevator dings and he slithers out and onto the floor three. Uh, on, onto the floor, three flights above the lobby. The porn studio, of course. I have my assistant drop the package to your mom headquarters and get back to work and keep my mind off of last night. I really fucked this up. Damn. Chapter 3, the meeting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, fuck. Alright. <laughs> Today is my first day working for Vox. I've been dreading this moment. Seeing him again. Working for him. He broke my heart yesterday morning. Hard. I didn't know that could be broken. I didn't know I felt this way for him after one night. I'm crazy for feeling like this after a one night stand. But I had to put my feelings aside and be professional. For me... All they did was make out. Uh, yeah, what like, do you mean when I dance? It was almost a one night <laughs> For me, for him, for our workers, for everyone. I spent all over in the news. People were calling me the fourth V. I didn't know if I could face Box today without thinking about what happened in his bedroom. A part of me wishes I could re relive that part of the night over and over again. Like, what part? <laughs> The crying oh. part, obviously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, snap out of it, Gwen! He's technically my boss now. I frown, I frown and look in the mirror, putting on some makeup. Let's get this stay over with. Pump. Oh, we're a girly girl. Yeah, we're girl boss in this shit. I put on a white button down, a vest, and a matching skirt with the fox tech on my company's logo on it. He shipped into my house and <laughs> with a note saying uniform. Yep, that's all he said. Wow, this guy sucks at communication. <laughs> For being an electronics guy, he sucks at communication. <laughs> when I saw the note, I desperately hoped it was an apology. I'm so sorry, Gwen, come over type of note, but the fucker just wrote one word. I mean, I get it, he's being professional. Something I didn't know if I'm capable of doing. But seriously, he didn't even write Dear Gwen or From Vox. What a little bitch. <laughs> Lacing up my work shoes, I couldn't help but wonder if Fox thinks about that night. I really hope he does, because all I can think about is his, is his soft hands intertwined with mine, his lips on mine, his strong body uh, grinding against on top of mine. He was so needy. God damn it, Gwen! I just said, shake, I think, shaking my head. No fucking grip. I walk through the front door of the V's headquarters for an early morning meeting, discussing the terms of my accidental partnership with Vox. His assistant called me last night and told me to come in two hours early, so here I am. I couldn't help but feel nervous to see him again. I had to be professional, I, th I think, straightening up. But my god, he's just so... So what? Just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I my thoughts are interrupted as I'm pushed to the ground by a tall Mothman. <laughs> Mothman <laughs> growls and looks this down. To be down. <laughs> is it Mothman? He <laughs> growls and looks down, only to realize it's me, another overlord, not one of his no good sinners. He puts on a smile. Well, hello, Gwen. He grabs my hand, pulling me off the floor, and kisses my knuckles. I knew who he was. He was another powerful overlord, owning many souls. I'm pretty sure he makes porn. And nice to meet you, Valentino. I responded, taking my hand back and discreetly wiping it on my skirt. I've heard so much about you, dear. He says with a light chuckle, a big grin, and a wink. He's heard about me. Does that mean he knows about Vox and I's encounter in his bench? <laughs> Shit, he definitely knows about it. Fucks so much for professionalism. But I guess I threw that out the window with my shirt two days ago. Should I deny it? Should I come clean? Well, technically, we didn't actually fuck. He just saw my tits. <laughs> and, and kissed my whole body and... Calm down, Gwen. I'm, 
He might not know anything. I need to keep composure. Fox and Velvet are inside, he says, open the door for me, keeping that toothy smile on his horny face. Here you go, my lady, he says, seductively, but I'm not stupid, I'm not falling for his charm. I walk inside and there he is, Fox, sitting beside Velvet, frozen at the door, not wanting to move. Looking at him brings tears to my eyes. I look at the ceiling, blinking them away. Damn, we emotional. It was a big room. Tall ceilings, definitely for taller overlords. It is a conference room after all. All kinds of overlords probably see this place daily. <clears throat> Wait, is this a conference room that they use in episode three? Is that- <laughs> I don't know. Probably is. The table was I didn't watch episode three. Oh yeah, cause you're a fake fan. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, of course. <laughs> the table was large. It stretched from one side to another. There was a large screen at the front, I suppose for presentations of some sort. The room was dark and sleek. The walls covered in a, a dark navy blue, almost black looking. Wires and cords surrounded a bunch of computers in the back. I could tell this room was made, was made to make him the center of attention, of course. For a persistent asshole. A prejudiced asshole. I mean, this floor was dedicated- Oh, pretend- thank you. Pretentious asshole. I mean, this floor is dedicated to him and his company. Oh, Gwen, you're here, he says, turning around. Velva looks puzzled. She must not know about the whole situation. I smile politely. Hi, I'm Gwen. Nice to meet you. I say, looking at Velvet, who has a slight smirk in her face. I'm Velvet. You probably already know- Wait, you probably know that, though, she says, looking me up and down. I did know that, but I just- um, but I was just being polite. For, for like, an overworld, an overlord of hell, mm -hmm. we- we are fairly polite. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, we kind of are! <laughs> Wonder why. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? Why? My god, who picked out your outfit? She says disgusted, hiding a slight laugh. Fox turns to her annoyed. It's the company's uniform, he says, with a fake smile. And I sit at the table across from Vox, awkwardly looking at the ground. Shit, this is so tense! <laughs> I clear my throat, breaking the unbearable silence and that somehow washed over the room. So, the company, I say, swinging my feet underneath the chair. Uh, yeah. Well, I wanted to give you a bit your role for your part of the company because, well, it's your company after all, he says, looking at his notes. So yeah, you will- Velvet cuts him off. Alright, what's the elephant in the room, she says, slapping her hands down on the big glass table. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you guys fuck or something? She teases. I- I doubt she realizes the question is somehow true. My face turns bright red, and Vox's screen glitches a bit. I bury my face in my papers. There's no way this is happening. No, but we really should continue the terms of the new company, Vox said, keeping his composure and professionalism until he is interrupted by Velvet once again. Ha! So you did fuck, she, she laughs, joining by Valentino. Well, wow, Valentino didn't know before, he sure does now. Damn, we are not <laughs> doing a good job. <laughs> nope, but we are not very good. No. <laughs> I speak again, trying to change the topic. The, the company? <laughs> we love the company. <laughs> the company. <laughs> right, Fox says, silencing the two fuckheads on either side of him. All I could think about was that night. His hands on my waist, his warm body on mine, his soft tender lips pressed against mine. I'm off No, and you're <laughs> in a meeting. <laughs> Man, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> I was in a different world of changing of what might have been while Vox talks about our agreement. Are you listening? He says, snapping back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Was he speaking the whole time? Shit, I missed all that. Oh, um, yeah. So, what do you think? I think for a second, not sure what he was talking about, but pretend I was listening the whole town. <laughs> Sounds great, I responded, shaking his hand. Oh, we're so dumb. How are we an overlord? <laughs> I mean, you can say that about my fucking OC. I don't know how I'm an overlord. 
I think for- oh wait, I already read that. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh shit, that was Vel- that was Valentino. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, Valentino says, taking Velvet out of the room with him. I start staring at Vox while he scribbles down some notes. Vox, I say, soften myself before I say something I'll regret. Hmm? He responds, putting his pen down and looking at me. His screen glowed in the dim lit room, sending goosebumps on my arms. How can I feel this way when it was just one night? One fucking awesome night! <laughs> yeah, this is very Phoenix coded. <laughs> they're, shut the f they're, they're like, I don't. Well, this, this bitch on YouTube really like Vogue. Let me just like. <laughs> That's just so fun, though. Yeah. I love this, man. This is good. I mean, compared to all the other Happy in... Hotel shit that I've read, this is really good. <laughs> he, he, oh, shit. He looks at me just like he just met me. Does he seriously not care about that night? I look at his eyes, not finding a drop of the feeling that I'm feeling. It hurts. I'm not sure why, but it hurts. I I'm going home, I say, picking up my bag. As I barely reach the door, I feel my hand swiftly... Feel a hand swiftly grab my wrist. Let me explain, he says, this time with some emotion. How does emotion just pop into someone's face like it did with his? It drew me in. I wanted to listen to whatever he had to say. I was almost in a trance. <laughs> I wow, said, I wonder how that is. Yeah, that's crazy. It's not like he has a mo like a mind control eye. <laughs> no, you know what? Maybe I will drink the Kool Aid. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> I sit down at the desk, looking at Vox, waiting for him to say something. He sighs, rubbing his hands in it, at his tense neck. I'm sorry for blowing up at you. He takes his hand off his neck and places it across the table onto mine. <gasps> for holding hands? Whoa. <laughs> oh Whoa, premarital? Oh my, premarital. We almost fucked Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> my spine. Oh my god. <laughs> I crave this so much. This feeling. And I've finally gotten it again. This time it's sincere and apologetic. You didn't deserve that reaction. I just... We're in this together and I'm... I'm sorry. He says, stumbling to find words. This is a side I've never seen before. Of all... Of anyone in hell, let alone Vox. He was caring, soft, and almost sweet. He had his guard down, which isn't normal for him, I could tell. And then we do a little scroll. Hey, it's okay, I understand. I say, putting my my hand on top of his, hoping to provide comfort. I can tell that it was hard for him to say, but I was still angry. I wanted to yell. I wanted to tell him explicitly how I felt instead of matching his said I matched his sincere energy. I wanted to tell him about how I cried myself to sleep in my bedroom. How I still have his shirt and didn't plan on giving it back because it reminded me of him. I didn't want to be reminded of him, but I almost needed to. I wanted to tell him how much I fucking wanted him. <laughs> how I wanted his lips on mine. How I wanted to hold him and feel his warm hands around my waist, but I just couldn't. I stayed silent, listening and comforting him, almost justifying his actions. Thank you, Gwen, he says, cause, ooh. <laughs> kissing my hand? Hand uh, fuck, uh, hair behind ear? <laughs> <laughs> you literally just bump a TV screen. If you ever want to know what it feels like to kiss bugs, you kiss the television monitor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would never. I ain't that down bad. Oh my huh? god. <laughs> I said I wouldn't. <laughs> what do you mean, huh? Okay, okay. Dude, shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> You, you said you aren't that down bad, and I was like... Dude, what's in? Goosebumps and go over my arms once again as I quickly pulled away from his touch. My cheeks went as red as, as a rose, and I jumped out of my seat. I pulled myself together and walked to the door, my bags in hand, not realizing he was falling behind me. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 what's going on? No, 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 keep going, keep going! I'm trying! Wait, he says, <laughs> grinding my arms, spinning me to face him, causing me to drop my bag. I, I, I only get that one word out before he pulls me closer and kisses. <gasps> Again, <gasps> he kisses me. Oh my god! <laughs> only this time he started it. 
It was the second time he and I kissed in two days. Who knows what it was would be like in a week. I didn't mind it though. It was a soft, tender kiss. A kiss that made me feel all warm and fuzzy. Like in a romance movie where the main character is finally back with the love interest. That kind of kiss. I put a hand on his shoulder. His body was warm and gentle. He took every moment slow and concentrated. I'll consider it. Consider it. <laughs> consider it. He wanted to feel every moment. I pulled away. We can't. He kisses me. Once again, I melt this time, letting my feelings win. Suddenly, the door swings open. Someone gasps. I fucking knew it! Valentino, get your ass in here! <laughs> I don't know if that's a British accent. <laughs> I don't think that is, but... No. What the fuck? Was she listening through to our conversation? I break the kiss and look behind me to see Velvet and Valentino gawking at Vox and I. Fox was still holding an embrace, but once realizing he w they were watching, he let go of me. You're fucking ha. We knew it. Valentino's. Oh, sorry. Velvet says, mocking us, making her hand hands kiss and make sounds. Valentino chuckles. Get out, he says, slamming the door on them, muffling the laughter. He slowly breathes in and out, slowing his anger, not wanting to cause a scene. Ooh. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> he says seductively, going back in for another. <laughs> <laughs> I might need a room. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna use some of this. Do you need water? <laughs> I don't have any water. I probably should, huh? <laughs> no, I don't have any. Fuck. He's quite desperate, trying to kiss me again while we're right at the door. Whoa, let's. Um, I stutter, gently pushing him off. He looks confused and slightly disappointing. A disappoint it's disappointed. I feel kind of bad. I wish to- I should go home. We only have about an hour left before work really starts and I have a few things to do. Pick up my bag, for real this time, ready to leave. I'm gonna go, I'll see you in an hour. I kiss him on the cheek and walk out the door. I can't believe I made out with Vox. Again! But I can't- but I can't believe I would do it over and over again. Oh, are we talking? Oh, okay. and then we kiss. I explained to Ember about what happened with Vox in the meeting. Wow, so you guys like a couple now? <laughs> no, we're just we just kissed. I guess it sounded stupid when I said it out loud. No business partners, dude. just business partners who's kiss. No big deal. <laughs> I gotta get ready for work. You should too. Meet meet you at the car in an hour. Yep. See ya. Ember says with a smile on her face. She walks out of my bedroom and shuts behind her. <laughs> Ring. <laughs> Who might that be? I pull, on, pull my phone out of my pocket, an unknown number. This can't be good. I reluctantly pick up the phone. Hello? I say into the speaker of my phone. When? Fox says. I sigh, releasing air stuck in my lungs. How'd you get my number? <laughs> You're talking about how I got your address. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> How did you get my number? I laugh, and almost extremely confused by how he did it. Heh, <laughs> my assistant helped me with that. How are you? I'm good. You? Better now. Shit. why that make me <laughs> Is Vox flirting with me? On the phone? An hour after we kiss at his conference room? This is all so crazy. Heh, <laughs> you're sweet. Why'd you call? I say, bluntly, genuinely cur curious about why he called. I need a favor. Oh no. What do you- th Do you think you could help Velvet with a fashion thing, he says. Oh, he asked. Oh, no? Uh-huh. Fashion? I knew nothing about fashion. And why would she want my help? And Velvet was just making fun of my look, so why me? Will you do it? A girl died la last minute and <laughs> needs to find a new model and you model the show in two days. Damn. They didn't even mourn your spirit. They're like, ah, oh, they f fucking killed over. Food poisoning. Anyway, can you be <laughs> can you beers? <laughs> <laughs> I laughed. Not because it was funny in a joking way. It's funny because it's so ridiculous. Me, a model? The thought of it makes me laugh. What makes you think I could do it? I asked him, curious about what the response could be. Um... 
Well, you're pretty, he sheepishly replied. My face turns feet red. Fox is making me blush every at every little thing. Fox too, Gwen. We're weak. <laughs> We're weak minded. We don't have the moves <laughs> like Jagger. <laughs> you think I'm pretty enough to model for Velvet? You, if you, you're bonkers. Sure, I, I guess I could. I got some good qualities. I always have my eyebrows, but my looks are are not model material. And let me remind you, Velvet made fun of my looks. <laughs> We're just. We're just so desperate that he had to choose me? Gosh, not a great feeling being the last choice, but what do I care? I'm not into fashion or modeling. I don't know, Vox, I, I say. I'm not really the modeling type. He sighs into the phone. Please, Gwen? I'll do anything, and this way, you can get closer to- Anything? Any anything? Okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> not even discussion. Oh, I'll, I'll fucking rock that cow. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. The down badness is short. <laughs> it's taking over. That's it. I, Jolene, I need you to take me to horny jail. Cuff me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wait, if I- He says in the phone, Please, Gwen, I'll do anything. And this way you can get closer to Vel. He pleads. They truly are desperate. I can't say no to him. Fine, I say, unenthusiastically. Now realizing another mistake I've made. Damn. She, she just agreed to shit left and right. She ain't thinking of anything. I'm pushed over. Yeah. Basically. Yes. Okay. I'll cover all your work for today and tomorrow. Just take your pretty face to Velvet's floor and begin rehearsing. Thank you, Gwen. This favor means a ton. I owe you big time, he says, hanging up the phone. Shit. <laughs> Dude, this is so good! I'm, I'm gonna model the fucking catwalk! Also, I'm gonna upvote this. There we go, I voted. This this is beautiful, man. I'm so excited to read this again! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I need to put a warning at the beginning of this video? Um, maybe. Maybe a little warning. Yeah. I probably want age restricted, because nothing really happened. They kind of just make out, so... I, I could probably just yeah. put a, a slight little warning. It's fine. <laughs> But this is really good. I'm glad I actually found a Vox X reader that is actually worth reading. Holy shit. <laughs> but uh, I'll have it in the description if you guys would like to read it. Jolene, what did you think? <laughs> it's nice, it's nice. You know, I don't know too much about these people. I know. <laughs> you must have been really confused. <laughs> no, not like confused, but I'm just like, oh, cool, things are happening. Oh my <laughs> god, we're making out. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a segue. <laughs> But, uh, dude, I'm, I'm so excited. Vox has been my app, it's been my favorite for a little bit. I've been, like, collecting fucking, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, merchandise and all that and getting Does he have a lot of merchandise? No. God, no. He has five pins, a standee, and a keychain, and I'm, like, fighting for my life trying to get the keychain and standee right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. It's a bidding system, so I'm, like, fighting it over it with, like, three other people. On, on, on what? Like on eBay or? Yeah, eBay. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, yeah. they got these cute, they got cute box stuff on Etsy. I know, I got some stuff like saved, so if like, I don't know, like a friend wants to like give me some from like an occasion, they could like, <laughs> you know? It's crazy. Oh yeah, it's crazy, <laughs> you know? But uh, you know what, <laughs> it is time for like everyone's favorite uh, segment of these. We got we got to spin the wheel. Figure out <laughs> what are we reading next time. Wheel, wheel. Oh, God. Every time I fucking pull this thing up, I get like flash banged. <laughs> Cause it's, it's like, like like the screen was black before, and now it's white as shit. <laughs> all right, I'm very excited. It can be anything. These are all very good options on here. I oh. have I can't predict anything because I don't know. See. I'm gonna predict this the Corazon one. Uh no, no, no. Would no, you look no, at that? No, Would no. you look at that? No. I'm gonna fall up. You have all the pressures on you. Oh, we okay, record again? tomorrow at dawn. <laughs> Can we read the box next year? <laughs> I mean look, it's your choice. It's your choice. I don't want to 
want to do too much of like a repeat, you know. I want to make sure. I don't know. There's so many good. No, 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 no. Wait, do we have enough? Is there enough chapters to uh, do a? Because it's still very new. Wait, hold on. Let me check. Uh, All right, we have enough for one more. Yeah. Okay. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the, the the one time it lands on me and Minho isn't with me, I would love to read the fucking Harvey X Reader right now. It's, it's updated like four times, and I'm like, please, please, we. Oh my god. Give me, give me peace. <laughs> oh, oh god, give me a sign. <laughs> uh, Dude. Thank you for joining. I highly appreciate it. Even I know you're not used to recording uh, two days and like two days in the week, but like I highly appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem. Thank you for letting me share. Especially my, with uh, you know your your fixation. Yep. <laughs> Especially uh, you let me read like Vox Smut straight up on the first chat. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't even like smut. Yeah, it was. It was what? What was it? What's the technical term? It was for just that? like fluff. No, fluff is like cute shit. Yeah. Hmm. It's just like the stuff, you know? Partial it's smut. Some... Interrupted like smut. smut. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's a it's a term. Uh, yeah, I can't even think of it. Yeah. I'm out of my what paddling go, it's been a while. <laughs> But, uh, but I think you for joining. I highly appreciate it. On screen somewhere is mm -hmm. a, like a playlist of all of the other Wattpad book club readings that I've done with past guests, including Jolene. And uh, there might be more fucking Vox in here somewhere. I don't know. It, it seems that if, I, if I'm feeling crazy tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Jolene. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.